If you are indigenous, American Indian, you may or may not have a tribe. And if you don't have a tribe that you were born into, this doesn't matter. And I'll explain why for several reasons. This doesn't matter because in the Americas, especially North America, the tribal membership criteria does not take into account many things, including um, family oral tradition, uh, what's in your bloodline, and what is in your soul's memory. Many of us, myself included, I'm tribeless. I am a part of the Rainbow Tribe, and I say that because of the Hopi prophecy that says that there will be many people, the ancient ones reincarnated, returned from all over the globe, and those people will begin to come together in a spirit of love and co-create the new earth. And I, I fully believe that because... I fully feel it deep down in my spirit. My genetic line is from the Eastern Woodlands people in North America. There's a lot of things I won't get into about tribal membership criteria there when it comes to indigenous people of a darker complexion. So that's for another video. I'll leave a link if you want to learn more about that. But for now, let's just understand that there are many of us who are trying to keep our old ways alive, our ancestral ways alive, and not only in our bloodline, but in our soul's memory. Many of us come from ancient, ancient tribes of many different lands on this planet from many times ago. And we carry with us these memories. And many of us are out here on, on our own, spreading information, uh, spreading knowledge, teachings about the old ways because the future is indeed ancient and we have that memory in ourselves and we know that information from the old times are going to benefit the future times and so the ones that are back again we are here to join together in the ways that we are meant to join together and that is through the heart that's through the heart center it has nothing to do with our skin color, our features, or anything like that. It simply has to do with how we feel. So we are one. We are one collective joined together in harmony and spirit and mission and in love. And so one of the things that personally I identify with is the fact that in past incarnations, I was a part of a tribe. And uh, just dipping a little bit into astrology, my south node is in Cancer and north node in Capricorn, which means in a past life, I was very close to my family, clan, or tribe, and was at some point held back by perhaps some of the restrictions that were in place because of that. And so in this lifetime, it is my mission to to be free, to express myself in how I want, to go forward courageously, unhindered by any man, and to do, do what I'm here to do, to live out my purpose without, the, without any restriction, with total freedom. So if you feel bad about not being a part of a clan or a tribe or what have you, understand that even without the astrological chart that I have, just knowing that you are here to to your back again in this earth plane to raise the vibration of this planet to usher in a new age that is amazing and that is beautiful and i don't want you to get caught up on the man-made rules of tribal membership because that is a blip in eternity and the reality is is that we are eternal and many of us have very ancient soul lines, cosmic tribal membership, so to speak. So we recognize each other by the way we feel, by our soul signature. 
We come together as one rainbow tribe of all colors and all kinds. And I want you to know that please keep doing what you're doing to spread the energy that you're spreading because it's so needed right now. Let's continue to share the ways of our ancestors because honestly, we are our ancestors back again. So when I say my ancestors are, are me and I am my ancestors, I mean that on multiple levels. That's all I have for you today. I just had to channel that message out. I want to wish you love, peace, and joy. And uh, I will see you in the next video.